So welcome back to this week's stat show. And the first thing I want to get into is game mark game management and how bad Mark Hughes has been at it this season. And we saw it against Bournemouth as Stoke lost the lead twice. Stoke have lost the second most amount of points from winning positions in the Premier League so far, losing 19 points from winning positions. It's really awful. That's second only to West Ham, who've lost 20. And as far-fetched as it sounds to suggest this, but if Stoke had kept hold of all of those wins, we'd be on 60 points, we'd be in 7th, and we'd only be 3 points behind Saturday's opponents, Arsenal, who are up in 6th place. Now, another area that Mark Hughes has been getting a lot of flack for recently is, is, uh, is just refusing to play Ramadan Sobi. No one really knows why he's not been getting back into the team after that magnificent run he had earlier in the season. And, and it, the stats agree with this. Sobi has completed the most dribbles per 90 minutes of anyone in the side. He's won the fifth most tackles of anyone per 90 minutes in the side. And that's only behind more defensive players such as Eric Peters, Mark Muniesa, Jeff Cameron and Joe Allen. And despite all of these really good stats, he's only had the 17th most amount of minutes of anyone in the side. So it's really unclear what Ramadan needs to do to get back into the team. Now moving on to Saturday's game against Arsenal and looking at some of the stats for that. And Stoke have only lost one of their last eight Premier League games against Arsenal. Uh, they've won four, drawn three. So it's suggesting it's pretty good. And Peter Crouch, Peter Crouch liked playing against Arsenal. He's scored, uh, he's scored eight goals against them in, in the time in the Premier League. And he hasn't scored more against any other Premier League side. But Arsenal have some promising stats of their own. Arsenal haven't lost in their last eight away games in May. Although the last team, team to beat them uh, away in May was Stoke in 2011. And again, Arsenal have really not struggled against sides in the bottom half so far this season, sort of as you'd expect them to. They've won 14 of their 18 games against the current bottom 10. They've only lost twice, so it's a bit worrying for Stoke, especially seeing as we've been so poor recently. Like I say, it, it, it's really worrying for Stoke, and a side with only one win in nine games is expected to go into a clash with a European hopeful like Arsenal as massive underdogs. So that's it for this week's stat show. Make sure you subscribe to the Bear Pit TV. Make sure you leave a like and make sure you leave some comments about the stats that I can answer next week.